begin with the Hawks and the Knicks, two teams that we talked about right at the top of the show. These two teams certainly underachieving so far this season. Which team is more likely, based on what you've seen so far, to become a top seed in the Eastern, top four seed in the Eastern Conference? The Knicks or the Hawks, B. Wood? I'm going to go with the Hawks because I like the Hawks, Hawks roster makeup better. I think uh, when you talk about Trey Young, they have a true young superstar on that team. You know they have John Collins. They have uh, Red Velvet down there. They have Bogdanovich, Capella. Uh, so I think that this team, once they get back to playing the basketball that they were playing down the stretch last year, they have the better chance. I like the Knicks, but I like the, I like the, the Hawks roster a little bit better, the way it's made up. Hawks right now in the 13th spot in the East at 4 and 8. The Knicks in the 7th spot at 7 and 5. Who's more likely to finish top four? I, I think it will be the Knicks. I, I think Julius Randle has turned the corner as a leader. I think last year wasn't a fluke for him. Uh, R.J. Uh, Barrett, you know, talking to the Knicks staff that he's taking his game to another level, really being in the gym, both ends, the three-point shooting is up. I know the defense is down right now from uh, Coach Tibbs' team, but that's something that guys have to dig within and just play harder together on the defense end the floor. But offensively, I think they found what they needed with Kimball and Fournier, but the defense has to step up.